Okay guys, so I just pulled up to Walmart for this video today. I thought I would do a take along with me. Basically, I'm going to take you into Walmart with me and show you a bunch of pieces in Walmart that are super affordable, even on clearance or on sale, that you can make your own. You can make it look more expensive and more high end. No one says you have to go to Nordstrom or any other high end store just to get a great piece that looks great on you. You can go anywhere. You can go to Walmart and find anything and pretty much just make it your own, make it your style. Now I got this idea from another fellow YouTuber that I follow. Right now I am drawing a blank on her name, but I will insert her name and link her channel down below. She is an awesome YouTuber and I originally found this idea from her and I thought I would do it myself because she did do a shirt, like redo a shirt to make it her own and make it look really cute. And although I've always bought shirts maybe like a size or two bigger oversized shirts. I even bought men's shirts before and I always make it my own whether I cut it up and make it an off the shoulder shirt or I just buy it extra large just so I can tie it or tuck it in. I've just always done that which she does as well. I just like the design of how she cut up one shirt. So she did make it an off the shoulder shirt but she also did a little extra to make it a little bit cuter and I really liked it. So I thought I would do the same and I would show you how I do it like I said I've always bought oversized shirts and also men's shirts and have cut it up and made it into an off the shoulder shirt but I've never taken you guys along with me I've never even filmed a video like this and I've never taken you guys with me to show you how to make your own style with cheaper or more affordable clothing so I thought that would be a really fun um, video idea so that's what I'm going to do now and we are going to head into Walmart. Like I said, I am sitting in front of Walmart. I'm gonna take you in, show you a bunch of things that you can make your own. You can either dress it up by cutting it up and making it your own or putting accessories, tucking it in, tying it. There's so many things that you can do to make an affordable piece look much more expensive. So let's head into Walmart. Hopefully me and Madison don't get rained on. It is super, super overcast and there is a big black cloud right now sitting over Walmart, so I'm pretty sure it's about to thunderstorm, but I'm going to bring in an umbrella and hopefully we don't get rained on. So let's head on into Walmart. Okay guys, so the first section I'm going to bring you into is the men section. And I'm showing you all the graphic tees that they have. These graphic tees are only $4.97 and they have so many different options. I know they do change it out every once in a while. And then there's more graphic tees here that are only $7.88. And they also have a bunch of different designs for you to choose from. I did end up finding a Johnny Cash shirt from this section and I grabbed it. And then I ended up going with the Y'all Need Jesus shirt from the other section of the $4 shirts. These are some great just long sleeve basic shirts. They're only $7.44. You can always make them an off the shoulder shirt and tuck them in. Then there's also these tank tops for only $1.68. Comes in a ton of different colors and you can do so many different things with these shirts. Definitely always check out your clearance section. They have so many different shirts, different styles, different sizes. So this t-shirt may look just like a plain t-shirt, but you can do so much with it. You can tuck it in, you can tie it, you can even cut it to make an off the shoulder shirt. Same thing with this shirt. And then also with the tank tops, you could always tuck it in. You can cut it up so you can be able to tie with it. You can make it into a crop shirt. So definitely just look around in your clearance section and I'm pretty sure you can find some really great deals and spruce up the outfits on your own. Okay guys, so this is the first piece I'm gonna show you guys, which is a button up cardigan and usually you wear it open. But I'm gonna show you guys how I tuck it. I can tuck it in the front. I probably should have went up another size, but this is how I would wear it. I would wear it a little bit tucked in the front and then let the sides hang off. Another way you can wear it is by tying it in the front. I did unbutton about three or four buttons. If you don't want your stomach to show, then you can just unbutton one or two and then your stomach will not show. But just tying a knot in the front just makes it look so much cuter. 
going to be this workout shirt I actually got from their active wear line and I just got it in a size large and as you guys can see I can put it off the shoulder to make it look cuter and then also tying a knot on the side I think it just adds so much more character to it so I think this is super cute off the shoulder and tied on the side I actually want to go back for it this next idea I got from Kaylee and basically what she did was just took both the straps from this tank top and put it over her neck and made it into a crisscross shirt. I also did tuck it in the front so you guys can see how it looked but definitely a cute way to spruce up your tank top. So this next shirt is just a basic tee and it is a v-neck I got in a size large. The first thing I'm going to do is tuck it on the side to show you guys how it looks tucked on the side. I'm also going to tuck it in the front and this is how it looks tucked in the front with the sides hanging down. And then this is probably one of my favorite looks is just tying it in the front, scrunching it and tying it up in a tight knot. I think that looks so cute. You can tie it higher if you want more of like the cropped t-shirt look. I usually don't like drawing my stomach so that's why I didn't do that. But this is probably my favorite part is just throwing it off your shoulder and then you have an off the shoulder shirt with a cute knot in the front. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how I am going to cut both of these shirts. I got both these shirts in the men's section. The Johnny Cash shirt was, I believe, $7.97. And then the Y'all Neat Jesus shirt was $4.94. So both super affordable. So all you're going to need is a pair of scissors to cut up your shirt. Okay, so the first shirt I will be cutting up is this Y'all Need Jesus shirt, and I'm only going to cut it up by the neck part. I am going to be making this an off-the-shoulder shirt. So you can use a pen or a marker if you would like to mark it before you cut it so you can make sure that you are cutting in a straight line and exactly how much to cut. I'm not going to do that just because I've cut a lot of shirts into off-the-shoulder shirts, so I'm pretty used to cutting my shirt so that is why i did not mark it but you are only going to cut the top neck part and then you can try it on see if you guys would like a little more cut and do so yourself and then i also like to stretch the shirt a little bit on the top after i cut it and that is all you're going to need to do to make this shirt an off the shoulder shirt And it's now moving on to my Johnny Cash shirt. I got this idea from Kaylee from But First Coffee, and I am going to cut my shirt the way she cut hers. So I've never done it like this, and I feel like I definitely should have marked it with a marker or a pen this time around because I did have to go in a few more times to make sure that the lines were all straight. So I definitely suggest marking it with a marker or a pen if you're gonna cut it like this. But basically I am just cutting a V in front of the shirt and I decided to go all the way down to where you see the first little line in top of Johnny. And that's how far I decided to go down with my V in the front. So now I'm going to flip the shirt over and then I'm going to cut the back. I'm going to go up where the neckline is and I'm going to cut all the way across and then I'm going to cut a very deep V triangle in at the back. And again, I definitely suggest using a marker or a pen to mark where you are going to cut so your V triangle is straighter than mine. I, like I said, I did have to go back in a few times to try to straighten it up. And next, I am just gonna cut off the sleeves of my shirt to make it more of a tank top shirt instead of a regular t-shirt look.
and then at the last minute I decided to cut the sides a little bit so what I'm doing is just going to each side and I'm going to cut a few inches up and I did this so I could be able to tie it so you can either wear it just with a little slit on the side or you can tie a little knot. I just thought it added a cute touch and an extra touch to my shirt. I know Kaylee did not do this. She cut the front of her shirt to be shorter and then left the back a little bit longer, but I didn't want my shirt like that. I did want it with the slits on the side so I can be able to leave it like that or tie it in a knot. so this is how the first shirt looks that I cut up I did not cut the sleeves and then I didn't cut the sides on this one all I did was cut the top to make it an off the shoulder shirt it's so comfortable it's big like I said it is a men's shirt so I got it in a size small which I think fits pretty good so it just hangs off the shoulder like that and I really like it it's so comfortable and soft you can also even pull it down let me show you guys how it looks pulled on the other side as well you can pull it down on that side as well and then you can wear it like that i don't know if i would wear it like that i think i like it better with it up like that but either way it looks super cute so that's how the first shirt looks this is how the second shirt looks this one i did a little different as you can see i did cut the arms off and i'll probably stretch it out a little more on the side because i want it to be a little bit lower on the side but that's how it looks on the arms and then the front I cut out that little like triangle V in the front and then the sides I cut so I can be able to tie like that. I will untie it to show you guys how it looks just like opened, but that's how it looks tied. And then the back, I don't know if I can get it. Let me see. Then I'm trying to get it as best as possible, but that's how the back looks, how I cut it pretty low. So that's how the back is looking. I really like the way this one turned out as well. Um, I think I probably should have gotten a size medium. I got a size small in this one too, but the material is different from the other shirts. So probably would have went up a size, but it still fits. I still like how it looks. So I'm now going to untie this and show you guys how it looks. That's how it looks if you don't want to tie it. I had it tied in a knot, but that's how it looks if you don't want it tied on that side. And then on this side, I'm wearing black leggings, so you can hardly tell. But yeah, that's how it looks if you don't tie it. So... That is how this one looks. You can also tuck it in a little bit. I have leggings on, so it's going to look kind of weird, but I don't know. Maybe you can tuck it in a little bit. It might look a little bit weird now just because I cut the sides, but if you don't cut the sides, I think it would look a little better tucked in. But yeah, that's how my second shirt yeah, looks. So that is going to end my Walmart clothing hack video for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I've never done a video like this before. This is my first time doing a video like this and I really enjoyed it and hopefully I gave some of you guys some ideas to go to your local Walmart and get affordable clothing pieces even on clearance and just make it your own. Really love the way this one turned out. I'll probably wear it tomorrow when I have to run errands but so cute. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to give my video a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you have not already. Remember to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos that I do upload. And also in the comments down below, let me know if you did enjoy this video and if you guys would like me to do another video like this, either at Walmart again or maybe Ross or Target, a different store. So yeah, just let me know and maybe I will do this video again with different clothing items. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.